Hello, hello! And welcome back as I keep punching Tyler Durden in the face while he laughs hysterically in the basement of a bar. In Perfidious Beat plays Stellaris. Doesn't that make you Lou in this scenario, Pete? Lou, the guy who owned the bar owner? Yeah, that's me. I'm Lou. The uh, Commonwealth of Morocco here, they would be the aforementioned Tyler Durden lying on the ground getting just repeatedly punched in the face. But unlike Fight Club, which actually happens to be one of my all-time favorite movies, unlike that scenario, I don't think the Commonwealth of Morocco is going to flip this one on us. They're not going to be eventually coming over to us turning the tables, putting us in like a crossbar arm lock, dribbling blood in our face going, you don't know where I've been, Pete. You don't know where I've been. That's just not the way this one's going to go down. I know exactly where they've been, and it turns out I don't care. They're a bunch of filthy roaches. They're going to be eradicated very, very, very shortly. And, uh, you know, it's going to be going to be just fine for the old Peterians here. What do you got over here? This, uh, what is this? This cloud of shit. That's a whole lot of transport ships, actually. We need to really go destroy those. So if you could, not a distraction. Yeah, let's go get our little grubby mitts on the 58 armies they've got just sitting there idle, and then we'll come back and bomb the shit out of Volwatra in a minute. Tab lack secured. All right, excellent. I don't even remember what our... Uh, can, our why we're missing another science ship, apparently? When did that happen? It was probably dicking around down here somewhere and got, yeah, I mean, it probably got destroyed by some random fleet. That's good. Another 50 influence down the drain should we ever want to rehire that scientist. But honestly, I kind of, kind of, kind of don't care anymore. I kind of don't care. We're, we're in full Tyler Durden mode here. You can hit me as much as you want. It's fine. No way to reach this project. Oh, well, that one's actually over in Frank Mooderward's space. So for once, the game is legitimate is... Hey, we, we actually can't get there. That's uh, pretty far outside of our sphere of influence. This one, however, no, nah, I mean, it's right in there. So we do research projects on that system. We're just bouncing around collecting a bunch of weird alien species. Frank Mooderwood is never going to let us across his borders either. He's seen Fight Club, and he knows we're just going to dribble blood in his face. Love that scene. Is Fight Club actually one of your favorite all-time movies? Yeah, I wasn't kidding about that. It's amazing. Well, first off, it's an amazing novel. And honestly, I think... It's one of the rare instances where the movie is actually better than the book because the the movie version of, of Fight Club is just it's ingenious. In that, basically, it's just exactly the same as regular Fight Club, except it has a much, much, much better ending. The ending to Fight Club in the book, it's not nearly as good. So these transport ships don't even have guns. This is just a massacre right here. Pretty much, yep. Well, there they go. You had 58 armies on board those transport fleets, Roachman, and now you have zero armies aboard those fleets because we have completely and totally annihilated your armada. I mean, you got, you got nothing left. They, they really don't have anything. I mean, they're, they're effectively done. We have completely destroyed the Roachman's overall offensive capabilities. Uh, you guys were in Oost here. I guess we'll bring you over here to Rastaban. Um, could you guys... Oh, there are two planets here, huh? All right, well, let me pick one. We can start with either. Here, you guys come over here. Armies. Oh, you guys are not on ships. Well, what are you doing? Get on ships. First off, get on ships, then fly over to here. In the meantime, not a distraction, I would like for you to bombard the shit out of this. Wait, that's not what we want. You can bomb the crap out of that molten world all you want, but I don't really think its molten core is going to be phased by the high impact velocity slugs that you're going to be slamming into it. All we'd really be doing is just adding mass to the planet. Are you that desperate to go blow up this wormhole generator? All right, those guys are annoying, I suppose. And I think it is. I think they are the regime that killed our scientists. So maybe a little payback is in order. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. These guys are out to avenge their friends. The cycle of bloodshed is never going to end, by the way. That's that's the other thing. It's going to be, oh, the, you know, that we kill one of theirs, they kill one of ours, and then both sides have a vendetta against each other. We hate each other forever. Nothing ever gets better. Nothing ever gets resolved. It's just a continuing cycle of violence, Hatfields and McCoy style. But if we sever ties, watch the rebellion. Oh, good. 
Popnik, Tim Crick. Slave armies will attempt to seize the planet. I mean, we don't have any armies on the planet, so... Yeah, this is not gonna go... That's a lot of fucking slaves! Are they slaves, Pete? No, they're not slaves. They're freedom fighters, Pete. Freedom fighters. Also, they appear to be kicking the holy shit out of us. Well, alright, so this planet's gonna probably become independent then. Fine, you become independent. We'll just... I'm just gonna come over there and take you back. It doesn't matter. I'll bomb you into submission, build a bunch of armies, and come slaughter you. You asked for this, Eruptions. I mean, you, you brought this on yourselves. Don't blame me. Don't go say, oh, Pete's committing war crimes and atrocities. This this is not this is not my doing. You did this to yourselves. No one to blame. No one to blame but the man in the mirror. This is a Michael Jackson scenario. You better start with the man in the mirror. I mean, I've asked you to change your ways a number of times, slaves. A number of times have I asked you to change your ways. You didn't do it. Now you have to... We will return in full force and take what's ours. The unthinkable has happened. Our forces in Pobic Tim Cricks have been defeated and our last loyal subjects executed mercilessly by the slave rebels who have now declared independence. It's a dark day in the history of Iraq so kind. Technically, I think it would be a glorious day in the history of Iraq so kind because they seized their planet back. We got our chemical bliss. Stimulant diet. Bonus slave out. Okay, I mean, that's it's all right. We could force feed our slaves steroids and then probably well really i think this is just the why doesn't it just say red bull development the red bull diet we're gonna load them full of guaranine and taurine and sugar and caffeine hypercoms for them does produces six unity oh it's like a okay so it's like an energy grid for unity very intriguing ecological adaptation allows us to terraform inhabited planets sold that's the thing I want. So let's go take a look at the Empire now that this new eruption faction has declared independence. They didn't even get the whole system. They got like a chunk of it. So this planet is now independent. They're the Eruxo Citizen Republic. They absolutely despise us. No surprise. All right, let's take a look at your army situation. You have a lot of armies. That's like a shitload of freedom fighters though, huh? Is there still a human on the planet? That's literally the only thing I care about. Yes, there is still one human on the planet. All right, good. Well, we'll just come back here, bomb your shit into submission, and then come annihilate you with our armada. Oh, Pete, they're going to be a lesson for all the other eruptions. They're going to inspire further dissidents. The end of the Erexo Citizen Republic. The star nation formerly known as the Erexo Citizen Republic has been destroyed by its enemies. The freedom f they the space roaches have joined each other. Well, we're not even going to have to counter invade them. Congratulations, now they're your problem. So they immediately declared they just immediately swore loyalty to these guys and are going to be our vassals in like 5 minutes. It's perfectly perfectly acceptable. Speaking of eruptions, I think it's time we uh Send a lesson to... Okay, so you guys have decided that uh, you want to rebel, huh? Well, guess what? Now you're undesirables. 2295, we got to wait till April 6th. All right, but on April 7th, eruptions, you guys are getting processed into food. We're going to keep an eye. Migration treaty proposal. The Pobolus Har uh, Pobol and Harmonious Republic. Internet migration treaty with the Commonwealth of Morocco. I don't, I don't care. Why do I care about their migration treaty? What, are they going to send more citizens over here to die in the war? Those people migrating, that's, that's a terrible idea. Let's migrate to the Commonwealth of Iraq so that we can be enslaved by the Petarians when they finish their war and conquer everyone. By the way, is this, are you guys, like, done yet? Has this planet's defenses been reduced to rubble? No, in fact... Uh, reducing to rubble is going very slowly. Where's our other army? What are you guys doing? Are you just doing anything? You're just sitting in Ustir doing nothing? I was going to say you're defending our invasion force, but that's actually not true because our invasion force is over here with the rest of the armada in Rastaban, right? Yeah. Okay, so second strike, or rather first strike force, I would like for you guys to come and start bombing the shit of this other inhabited planet. We can bomb two things at once. We can multitask. I kind of feel sorry for those slaves, though. 
They've successfully rebelled against their Peterian overlords. The freedom fighters came forth. French Revolution, or not French Revolution, but French Resistance down there were like, Ha ha, we have seized the day. Suddenly we have taken back what is ours, and now it is nothing but wine and cheese for us forever, for this mighty insectoid republic who sounds like a stereotypical insult. Now we must form alliances to guarantee our independence. Let us swear fealty to the glorious and commonwealth of Birak. They will love us forever, and the wine will flow. <laughs> Much is bright the future of this glorious na- Oh, son of a bitch, we were immediately reconquered. Those Peterian bastards. That's exactly how it's gonna go. They had, like, one glorious moment of fleeting triumph, and then the rest of it is just like, well, that's, uh... Yep, that's real bad. What's going on here? Oh, you guys are blowing up a mining station? All right. Plus, the other thing is, they actually have swore loyalty to an inferior... They've sworn loyalty to an inferior race because, let's face it, the Commonwealth of Morocco ain't what it used to be now that we've destroyed most of it. Fleet detected. A direct course for the Elor system. Look out, Elor system. They're sending... Where the hell is Elor? It's a transport fleet. What's it gonna do? All of these people are unemployed. That poor planet, it's so destroyed. All right, well, you know what? We can put it out of its misery, I guess. Are your defenses completely annihilated? Planetary summary? Uh, armies? No, not yet. Like two more days of bombardment? There we go. Transport, all right, land the armies. They have... I mean, they've got a respectable level of, of army going on here. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of trouble. But this also might give us enough war score to just end this, too. That's the other thing. We may be able to just say, well, that's it. You guys are, uh, you guys are done. Coming over, inciting my slaves to riot, having them immediately join your empire in what was possibly the stupidest diplomatic move they could have made. Yeah, our armies are annihilating these poor saps. We can probably speed this up a little bit. The first attack swarm is coming for us. It's probably got a fleet strength of like 60. Okay, so we got the Zulkor on our side, or rather we collected specimens of the Zulkor. Oral Watra has been conquered. Okay, so armies. Let's uh, get you back into space then. Don't need you there anymore. You guys could, uh, I suppose, yep, you're actually already on your way. Good work. I tell you, that Malak Bilal, the guy knows how to bomb, man. Transport fleet, you guys want to come over here in preparation for the invasion? Special project complete. The Othethi or Orinthi are secured. Oh, we secured Orianthi! Now we can get some delightful rock stylings and listen to her smash hit single uh, that I don't remember the name of. It was a smash hit, though, even though I, I can't remember of it. She was a guitarist for, like, Michael Jackson for a while and then sort of fell off the face of the universe. According to you, that's it. Thank you. There's the smash hit single from Orianthi. Orianthi's smash hit, according to you. Uh, Science Ship Torch, what are you doing? I mean, is there, like, anything useful you can do? The Wily Uldoran, where are they? Are they in reachable space? They are. All right, well, here, you can go do this. I'm not even sure what benefit we're going to get from this. Probably something tenuous. I mean, we got 250 extra society research, which I suppose is something. But at this stage in the game, getting a month's free society research is not really much of a coup. Invasion is over. We're going to continue reducing planets to rubble. Let's go look at this hostile fleet. Um, yeah, whatever. Like, it's around. Those guys are hanging out in the Elor system. They'll probably destroy our wormhole generator. Ultimately, I don't really think we're even going to care. Their guys are still sending fleets to Ustir where they can't do anything, because I'm pretty sure we've destroyed all of their invasion fleets. You guys are bombing away. Okay, the first Federation. I, I feel sorry for these. Why are you guys still trying? Just give up already. The war is over, all right? It's over. You've, you've lost. There's no point in trying anymore. Stop making me hurt you, man. Stop codepending all over me. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and land the armies there. Yeah, there we go. 
Drop pods are coming down. One more invasion, and this planetary invasion should, like, if this gives us 10%, we're at where we need to be. And the boots are getting sticky with a bunch of stomped roach guts here. Although these guys have taken quite a bit of damage. And there we go. 93%. Well, okay. They're going to be done then. So we've 93% war score. We're going to negotiate. You are now our vassal. And you are humiliated. Congratulations. They want us to stop atrocities, huh? Never going to happen. In fact, we're overdue for atrocities. Commonwealth of Morak distracted me from what really needs to be done, which is the freaking atrocities, man. All right. So, species, directions, guess what? We're now undesirables. Yes. Forced labor? No, we're not going to be doing that. Processing? Oh, yes. Down into food. There you go. Migration controls enabled. Population controls are enabled. Colonization is forbidden. They can't serve in the military. They get non-existent living standards because we're processing them into food. This is exactly what we want. Yes. Good. You're done. Undesirables being processed into food. They're slow learners. Let's hope they don't catch on to the fact that we're devouring their children anytime soon. Let's just hope. All right. War is over, though. That's uh, it's going to be done in, like, literal moments. Take it down to normal speed for a second. And the Commonwealth of Morocco is going to become a Commonwealth of Vassals. Yeah, there you go. Invasion's over. We did it. Congratulations. Peace has been uh, achieved. We win again. Petarians can't be stopped. The Empire continues. It's slow and unstoppable expansion into awesome. So what do we do now? Uh, well, I mean, that's a pretty good question. Minch here. They're going to have some glorious Zaplo Imperium fleets over here. I don't know what these guys were even doing. What were you guys doing over here? Also, what research project is out here? A large spaceport. Oh, they destroyed our spaceport. Really? Or is that one that we destroyed? Now, we destroyed that. They used to have a spaceport. We took it away from them because there's nothing they can have that we can't possess. What's this? Oh, alien vessels. Okay, so we got to... All right, we're, we're back into management mode here. Not a distraction. Let's take you back to, I'm going to say, really, I should take you to the closest place possible, but let's bring you back to Seoul. And we're going to have you go to Earth, get repaired. Actually, just here. Go there. Uh, Rastaban. We're not going to be able to park our, both of our fleets at the same spot. I want you guys to go to Petersburg, actually. And just get in orbit here. And then the Rastabani strike force, you might as well come over here as well. Let's put all you guys in orbit, and then we're going to get you guys all patched up and repaired. Then we're going to start looking into, I don't know, upgrades maybe? Also, we have 3,200 minerals doing nothing. We really need to make some changes to our energy strategy in that we need more energy. Okay, so energy is needed. How do we get energy? Let's start solving the problem. Also, another thing we want to do is begin, you know, we're going to need... I need some more science ships. Oh, man, is the planet that rebelled in Minchir? The planet that rebelled? Did you have a human on you? Okay, you do, which is fine. We just want to make sure there's at least one human that's still there. There's one unemployed human on the planet who's way happier than he ever was ex under the Petarian, so that's a pretty staunch indictment of my rulership. The guy was in a part of a hostile rebel takeover Shay's rebellion happened. He joined the rebels. He was like, you know what? Shit, it's better than better than this. I'm uh, they've convinced me. I'm going over. So we're gonna take one of these idle citizens and send them to Avalak Sarjak. I don't think anybody's gonna miss this planet. It's kind of a toilet. So let's grab. What are you doing? You're making three minerals. It's more useful than four food, especially since we have a ridiculous amount of food. Now that we are slowly devouring the eruptions. All right, so we're going to resettle you. We're going to take you to Avalax Zabajax. There you go. And we'll just plop you down, let's say, well, anywhere. There you go. Resettle you. Sorted. I know we have an idle person. That's actually, we have an empty building here. Put this man, he can fill in for that guy. Avalax Zabajax, we want to have you doing the planetary governing. Where is the planetary government center? Is this it? 
Planetary capital. Yep. Humans are in charge here now. You can uh, you can go now. Why are you unhappy? Oh, you're a little bit pissed off because you were enslaved? Ah, whatever. You'll get over it. All right, so that's sorted. Um, our unrest issue should be, like, sort of handled? No, I mean, it's still total. Still total unrest. I would assume these guys are going to be even more angry since 10 years from now, none of them will exist anymore because we'll have devoured them all. But I also don't really care. Other plans, other things that need to be done in the Petarian Empire. Once we get all of our ships back to base, our energy problem should go away and give us an opportunity to start addressing our energy scenario and fixing the problem. Unlock the kinetic battery. Good. New research. All right. I still can't build robots, and I still kind of don't want to. Uh, auto cannons. Do we not have these already? I thought we already had auto cannons. I really don't want to research them again. What's a flak battery? Point defense. Kinetic. Oh, kinetic point defenses? Yeah, I don't care about point defenses so much. Enemies don't use missiles because missiles are terrible. Basic fighter wings, you know what, here, let's just get this out of the way. It's going to take less than a year for us to learn how to build robots that we can then never build. Last time we encountered robots, we just immediately started tearing them apart. So is there anything in the Empire that we still need to take advantage of with our construction ships? I just want to see if our construction ships even have the possibility of doing a work, doing some kind of job, something. Guys, off your asses, onto your feet, out of the shade and into the heat. Get to work is what I'm saying in an entirely roundabout fashion, and it seems like the answer is a strong and resounding no. It's with an Oxbraxy hive space. We don't want to necessarily tangle with the Oxbraxy hive, mostly because they do have like a mutual defense pact with the Valdari, which would put us face to face against the two most powerful empires in known space. I don't really like that. Fleet power is overwhelming. Naval capacity is superior, although that is down from overwhelming. Technology level is also overwhelming. The Karabnar progenitors are not going to be a viable target for us anytime soon. The Authority of Menjus, we just kind of want to leave alone because I think they're the one thing that may be helping contain the Valdari. The Zaplos and the Commonwealth of Iraq both belong to us. Speaking of which, we should probably take a look at our overall policies against these guys. Just make sure... Not doing anything stupid. Uh, Petarian Empire. Yep, you're a vassal. Close borders with the Oxbraxes and the Pobillans. Okay, got a truce. All right, that's fine. These guys actually don't even hate us that much. They've got serious trust. They're our subject. Uh, they don't like our ruler, but we have Star Lords and the same authority. They're xenophobic bigots, which doesn't help. But the fact, except for the genocide penalty, these guys don't. If it weren't for the genocide penalty, they'd actually like us. A genocide penalty, though, well. I ain't going away anytime soon. These guys absolutely despise us. Minus 760 for genocidal. We were at war. Um, they're angry because we insulted them twice. I just kind of like kicking a man when he's down. What can I say? Xenophages, authoritarian tyrants, relative power of subjects. Repugnant rulers. So these guys absolutely utterly despise us. We're not going to release them as a subject. We're not going to buy a federation. I kind of want to close my borders to them, in fact. Can I do that? I guess not. Can I close border access for subjects? Well, all right. Petarian Empire, Mirror, and Fight until 2305-12. We cannot close our borders. Oh, we can't close our borders to them because we have a truce? That's weird. I would think we couldn't close our borders to them because they were a vassal, not because we have a truce. But honestly... I don't really care. We've got a whole truckload of idle minerals that we should probably be doing something with. And honestly, I think the thing we can be doing with those idle minerals... Let's address some of our infrastructure issues. So, energy is what we want. Energy is what we need. Let's see about getting ourselves some energy. We should probably... Now, you guys have open tiles. So, do you have any tiles that suck that are still... That are bad but are being worked? Yes. Let's build you... Um, build a mining network. You guys are making food, which is not overly important right now, but it's not unimportant. We're going to have you clear that tile blocker. So that's got Los Pedalus taken care of. Bobbix lacks a trick. We're killing these guys? Since when? 
Where did we start purging the eruptions? I kind of like these guys. At some point, I started devouring them and never stopped. I guess I'm Galapagos turtle in them. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, sorry, I guess, sort of. Why are you unhappy? Oh, it's because of the planetary unrest. Everybody here is real angry just because of their... You know what? Actually, I said sorry earlier. You know what? I'm taking it back. I'm actually not sorry. You guys continue doing what you're doing and get uh, systematically purged. So is there anything on this planet we need to do? Um, we should probably... Oh, you have a... That's a frontier clinic. I was going to say we could build a science facility there for that guy, but... Don't really need it. Um, do we have an energy station anywhere that's not being utilized? No. This planet is a toilet. Well, we'll leave it alone for now. I mean, it's a toilet, but it's not one we can afford to flush. Let's upgrade whatever that is. I don't really need to upgrade the food thing. That's handled for Pete. What do you got? You have some unhappy citizens is what you have. Um, this guy looks much happier than you are, so let's move him there. And you know what? Now that you're you're happy, now that you're enthused, I'm going to build you a science lab, dog. See what happens? Good citizens get rewarded in the Petarian Empire. You do good things, and I'll be like, hey, you're a good citizen. You're loyal. You uh, support the Empire and everything we do. And I'm going to re reward your loyalty with a uh, slush fund. Here you go. Enjoy your research grant. Don't say the Petarian Empire never gave you anything. Meanwhile, you got this guy up here who's not appreciating all the things he's been given. And so instead, there you go. Now you're a slave out there working in the fields. And I'm not even going to upgrade your hydroponic farm. You got to stick with the old model. The 2020, you're sticking with the 2285 model. Anything that needs to be upgraded or done here. These guys are almost out of room to grow population, so let's clear this tile. Pete, you know, you're spending money and you're losing money. Yeah, whenever we want money, we can always just get rid of some of this slush fund of minerals we've got. Although we are also using minerals, I'm aware, but upgrading all of the energy producing structures is really going to help us in that regard. We're going to have an engineer. What is that? A power plant we're going to have there in a minute. That's fine. You're getting grown on... What appears to here, you know what? I'll go ahead and build you a build you a basic science lab, that's fine. Pete Kaigo, what do you need? Some upgrades for a couple science facilities? Done. Let's make you a physics lab. You guys still have open tiles to grow more population in, which is fantastic. Where's your current population being grown, by the way? Right here on top of what's gonna be a physics lab. Seems fine. Petesburg, how you guys look? Periodically, we just got to run back through, check, and make sure everybody's doing okay. And it looks like everybody's doing all right, except for this jackass who's a slave now. When are you guys going to learn that the Petarian Empire does not tolerate dissidents? You want to be a dissident in my empire? It's going to be... This, this, you're going to get enslaved, dog. Just don't do it. Just toe the party line. You don't even have to believe it. That's the thing. You guys don't understand what the Petarian Emperor here is asking for. You don't even really have to believe in the dogma. You don't have to buy it. You just lip service. Just pay lip service. And you know what? Go to work and do your job. That's really all I'm asking for you. And I don't feel like that's too much. Just go to work, do your job, pay your taxes. That's it. You can believe whatever you want to believe as long as when somebody comes along and be like, hey, do you unconditionally support the Empire and everything that the Emperor is doing? And uh, you, do you agree to we are definitely not committing war crimes? And all you have to do is just when the census guy comes, you just be like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm fucking you, everything you said. I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. And that's it. We'll go away. That's all you got to do. But instead, you guys have to stand up be like, no, I resent the empire and the, the emperor is doing a terrible job. He's a bad. Don't say that stuff. Don't tell me I'm a bad leader. All it's going to do is get you punished, man. Just get you punished. You're really, you know what? You're party to your own destruction, and you kind of have nobody to blame but yourselves. Clear that, and St. Peter's will finally be a fully functional civilization. And now, what Like, what do we do? We still have a bunch of minerals left over, and we got effectively nothing to do with it. Let's go take a look at our sectors and make sure everybody... Whoa, District 9, what happened to you, though? Where were you getting a bunch of energy that suddenly you are not getting energy from? Like, earlier... It's got to be Minshear, though, right? Is this a, like a really big energy producing planet? Not really. I mean, it's making four. It might have been making more before. No, because that's food. That's minerals. Were you? I mean, they had an energy nexus. 
Okay. So, not really. The energy problems are back. Once our fleets go idle, that's going to help quite a bit because it's going to like have our overall fleet maintenance, which at this point, given our naval capacity, our fleet maintenance is pretty expensive. The Valdari Stellar Empire declared their rivalry against the Othethi Confederacy. Well, I don't I break it to the Othethi, but that's going to be a real short rivalry. It's Frank Muterwood's going to come ruin you. The Adlorans have been secured. We get another 250 re pointless research. Speaking of which, weren't we formally rivaling these guys and like we can't do that anymore because they're all dead now? We need we need more rivals. All right, Oxbraxy Hive. I think we had avoided rivaling you, but I feel like probably the time has come. Or are you already rivaling us? You are you're rivaling the authority of Menjus and the Pobolin, and surprisingly the Oxbraxy Hive doesn't hate us that much. They don't care about our genocidal tendencies? Really? Oh, it's because they're a hive mind, and hive minds are also genocidal. You know what? I was going to rival you, but now I'm actually not. I'm tempted to try and form a non-aggression pack. I don't want to insult. I mean, I don't think they would take it because they're not. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what, Oxbraxy? Let's get like adopt a sort of live and let live strategy here. We're already rivaled to you guys, right? No, you're rivaling, you're rivaling the Valdari and the Ox Braxy. Well, I mean, here. We're, you're, you're my rival now, confirm. Use the extra influence. You're a rival. We're not rivaling the Valdari. Are you guys a rival yet? Uh, declare rivalry. There we go. Anybody else want one? Who else wants one? What about you guys? Are you a rival? Yep, you're already a rival. All right, good. Well... Man, this chunk of space looks real attractive, though, huh? Like, we should definitely colonize this planet. Yeah, we're going to need to colonize that. So can we get a ship out there? If we grab one of our science ships, the Woo, can you make it out there? You can. All right, so you're doing nothing currently. Fantastic work, by the way. Survey that, and then get out here. Oh, these plants we must have, we've already surveyed somehow? Probably we bought star charts for those. How's Orthana? It's a 13 pop ocean world. Okay, come out here and survey that. That'll keep you guys busy for a while. Armies, what do we want to do with these? Well, probably move them because they're not doing us any good where they're at. So let's grab you and... Space around Earth is going to get real cluttered. Here, why don't you guys... Well, I don't want to send you to a place I don't control. Matar will do fine. You guys can come out here and... We built a spaceport, huh? All right, well, here. Transport fleet, why don't you just go here? Like, you live there now. That's fine. You you can help repress those slaves. How's that sound? That seems like a useful thing for you to do. Go sit around crushing slave revolts. Goodness knows we got enough of the damn things. Spend all my time worrying about revolting citizens. And then there's, like, really, we're good. We're good. We have nothing else to build until our colonies are developed. So, and we can't really colonize these two planets until they've been surveyed. We're waiting on our two scientists. We could potentially build another science ship, I suppose. And we did get some more influence if we wanted to resettle the population. But the whole resettling population thing has also sort of been taken care of. What are you guys doing? Just like flying around the galaxy, huh? Is this a victory tour? Are you guys wandering around like Caesar? I'm sure this is just us getting rivaled back. Um, no, the Athethi rivaled. Okay, that's them counter rivaling the Valdari. Clear the tile blocker. I mean, we don't we don't have a whole lot going on diplomatically. Yeah, the authority of Menjus have counter rivaled us, which is acceptable and expected. So, not a distraction should be on its way to Earth. They're flying in. Okay. And we want you to repair, actually, which is what you immediately began doing. That's good generaling, Bilal. I appreciate your contributions to the Empire. They have been numerous and profound. You're the greatest general who's ever lived. Admiral, probably, because you're in the Navy as opposed to the Army. So you're definitely an Admiral, not a General. And you are fully repaired. Let's put you in orbit. In fact, yeah, let's just think you're in orbit. I want you guys not costing maintenance. Perfect. You guys are done. Second Strike Force Alpha, you doing anything? 
want you guys in orbit too. Yeah, you are in orbit. And are you guys repaired? You are repaired and also in orbit. Fan freaking tastic. We have unemployed pops. Where? Unemployed in the Petarian Empire? A situation that cannot abide. So you know what we're going to have you do? Build a power plant. There you go. Look, now you're... See, I'm giving out jobs here. The Petarian Empire is the most benevolent, overwhelming, evil dictatorship that has ever existed. People come to us and they're like, Emperor Pete, I need a job so that I can feed my family. Look, I'm over here unemployed. And then what do I immediately do? I'm just like, oh, well, here, build a power plant. It's fine. Infrastructure? I'm... I'm... I'm the Franklin Roosevelt. The Franklin freaking Roosevelt of Stellaris. People come to us and they're like, Emperor Pete, we need a public works project. The people really need something to keep their mind. I'm like, you know what? Empire could use more power. Why don't you guys go and uh, we'll start the Tennessee River Valley project. They're like, wow, really? Emperor Pete? I'm like, yeah, you can pour concrete, right? And they're like, well, I don't know. Well, can I teach? You know, if I have somebody teach you, will you learn to pour concrete? And they're like, will I? And I'm like, well, then we have an accord, sir. Let's do this. Valdari made... Okay, so the Valdari just blobbed way bigger because the authority of Menjus is effectively gone now. The Valdari just gobbled up like half of it. That's that's not good for us. Frank Muterwood's expansion for us. Frank Muterwood expanding is bad for us, but we knew they were going to lose because I destroyed most of their fleet. I'm Once again, I'm over here doing Muterwood's dirty work for him, and I hate it. Yes, it uh, really does seem, Pete, no matter what you try, that you can't help but help Frank Mudawood. I think uh, our affection is just too much, Pete. You love me too greatly every time. Every time you try to distance yourself from the Mudawood, you eventually wind up being drawn back into my circle, Pete. Tile blocker clear. Okay, clear the tile blocker. I'm actually going to roll not a distraction out and have them come down here to whatever this place was. And I'm going to roll the first strike force out. I believe there was some kind of like alien resistance or something out here. Yeah, we're going to lose 15 energy credits a turn while the armada is active, but we do have a pretty powerful armada. 20k in overall strength. That's pretty good. We could also build robots now if we wanted to. Problem is, it's not really a problem. It's just we definitely don't want to. I'm thinking kinetic artillery. I don't really like artillery, though. Impulse thruster, maybe? That'd be a ship upgrade. Sublight speeds, combat speeds, bonus chance to evade. Evasion is very important. We could also, you know, get more mineral capacity, pick up mineral silos, mineral processing plant. I actively, I actually don't want battleships. I think they're a bad investment. Space torpedoes. We can finish this how fast? Ten, you know what? We'll take 10 months and just get it off the list. I, it's been on our list of things for potential research forever, and I want it gone. Also, I just noticed this episode is really long, and I need to wrap it up, and effectively, nothing is happening anyway, so it's fine. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see the ultimate throwdown galactic showdown when we do finally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frank Muterwood, although at this point, from a resource perspective, I really feel like we've got to have Muterwood just completely fucking overwhelmed, though. It, it's got to be in a situation where he has no hope of keeping up with us. Plasma accelerators are an energy weapon. Building cost goes down by 5%. Planetary shield generator. I will take planetary shield generator. Because we can finish it in 14 months. We have 26 planets, which is 332 population now. That's a lot of people. That number's going to go down when we finish eating the eruptions, but eating the eruptions is going to take a while. That's okay. I'm a patient man. Nothing's really happening. We can eat the eruptions whenever we please. We got time. We got time. If you enjoyed the episode, though, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. And again, if you want to see the ultimate throwdown showdown when we do square off against Mooterwood, Consider subscribing as well. New episodes of Stellaris every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.